Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x to the power 6 plus uh, x squared over x to the power 5 plus uh, x cubed is equal to 7 over 3. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start by using cross multiplication. We multiply these three by this expression x to the power 6 plus uh, x squared and we multiply this 7 by this expression x to the power 5 plus uh, x cubed like this uh, 3 times x to the power 6 plus uh, x squared is equal to 7 times x to the power 5 plus x cubed. Now, from here we divide both sides of this equation by x to the power 4. We divide each term by x to the power 4. We divide this uh, x to the power 4 by x to the power 4 and we divide this uh, x cubed by x to the power 4. So, this uh, left hand side will become 3 times x to the power 6 over x to the power 4 is x squared plus uh, this uh, x squared over x to the power 4 will become 1 over x squared is equal to this uh, right hand side will become 7 times this uh, x to the power 4 over x to the power 4 will become x plus uh, this uh, x cubed over x to the power 4 will become 1 over x. Now, we suppose that this uh, x plus 1 over x is equal to m. Let x plus uh, 1 over x is equal to m. Now, we square both sides of uh, this equation. This implies that uh, x plus uh, 1 over x squared is equal to m squared. This uh, x plus 1 over x whole squared is equal to x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared plus uh, 2 is equal to m squared. Now, we move this uh, plus 2 to the right side, then here left uh, x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared is equal to m squared minus 2. Now we replace this uh, x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared with this m squared minus 2. We replace this uh, x plus uh, 1 over x with this m. Then this equation will become 3 times m squared minus 2 is equal to 7 times m. Now, this uh, 3 times m squared will become 3 m squared and 3 times negative 2 negative 6 is equal to 7 m. We move this 7 m to the left side then this equation will become 3 m squared minus 7 m minus 6 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. So, we solve it by factorization. We write this uh, 3 m squared 3 m squared and we split this uh, negative 7 m as we split this negative 7 m as uh, negative 9 times m plus uh, 2 times m minus this 6 is equal to 0. Now, from these two terms, uh, we can factor out 3 times m. 3m as a common factor and in bracket left, m minus 3. Now, from these two terms, uh, we can factor out 2 plus 2 as a common factor and in bracket left, m minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, from here, this expression m minus 3, this expression m minus 3 is a common factor. So, we factor out this m minus 3 and in bracket left, in bracket left this 3 m and this plus 2, in bracket left 3 times m plus 2 is equal to 0. 
Now from here either this expression m minus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression 3 times m plus 2 is equal to 0. From this equation m is equal to 3 and from this equation m is equal to negative 2 over 3. Now to find the values of x recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x plus 1 over x is equal to m. We have supposed that x plus 1 over x is equal to m. First in this equation we put this value of m3 then this equation will become x plus 1 over x is equal to 3. From here we can write the denominator of this x1 and we take LCM of this one and this x. LCM is x and x divided by this one we get x x times this x x squared plus x divided by x1 one, 1 times this one 1 is equal to 3. Now if we multiply both sides by x then this implies that x squared plus 1 is equal to 3 times x. Now we move this 3x to the left side. Then this equation will become x squared minus 3 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. And in this quadratic equation a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 3 and c is equal to 1. And according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative negative 3 plus or minus square root of in place of a b squared we write negative 3 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 in place of c we write 1 divided by 2 times value of a 1 next x is equal to this minus and this minus will become positive 3 plus or minus square root of negative 3 squared is 9 minus 4 times 1 times 1 4 divided by 2. Next x is equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 4 5 divided by 2. So, these are the two values of x1 and x2. These are the two solutions of this equation. Now, to find the other two solutions, in this equation we put this value of m negative 2 over 3. Then this equation will become x plus 1 over x is equal to negative 2 over 3 and we write the denominator of this x1 and we take LCM of this one and this x, LCM is x, x divided by this one x, x times this x, x squared plus x divided by x1 one, and 1 times this one 1 is equal to negative 2 divided by 3. Now, we multiply this 3 by this x squared plus 1 and this minus 2 by this x. Then this equation will become 3 times x squared plus 1 is equal to negative 2 times x. 3 times x squared 3x squared plus 3 times 1 3 is equal to negative 2x. Now we move this uh, negative 2x to the left side 3x squared plus 2 times x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, in this quadratic equation a is equal to 3, b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 3 and according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of in place of a b squared we write it 2 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 3 times in place of c we write 3 divided by 
2 times value of a 3 next x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 3 times 3 is 36 divided by 2 times 3 6 next x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 36 negative 32 divided by 6 next x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of this uh, negative 32 can be written as uh, 16 times 2 times negative 1 divided by 6 next x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 times square root of 2 and this uh, square root of negative 1 is i divided by 6 now 2 3 times 6 2 1 times 2 and 2 2 times 4 so from here we get uh, two values of x x 3 and x 4 is equal to negative 1 plus minus 2 times square root of 2 i divided by 3 so these are the four solutions of this equation